Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're just gonna look at the, the menu walkthrough of the Suntu 9. Um, as you can see, it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, yeah, new little area for filming. Let's yeah see what this has got. So, interesting thing about the Suntu 9 is it's got a touch screen. So it's only got the three buttons and then a touch screen. Um, thing that I don't like is the screen gets permanently dirty because you need to touch the screen for some of the features but if we quickly go down okay first so your buttons are up enter down so if we start with down see the heart rate uh, it must be picking up my finger or something heart rate's pulsing at the back now also I just literally took the watch off my wrist if we go to the side you can see at the bottom there you can go to the sides you can see also my heart rate for the last 12 hours go back again down it shows if you're stressed but as far as i know you need to do a workout for that to show uh, steps for the day uh, now interesting thing is i can go to the side my average steps for the weeks average calories for the weeks and then I go back then you can see there's like a little flame at the top there so then when I press there it shows my calories at the moment and then obviously just the same and then you swipe from left to right to go back and then we're at the main screen again then okay let's just go again then we've got the time you worked out for the week hasn't been too productive for me this week to the side your goal so that's pretty much and your uh, average for the week so that's pretty much the same as the soon to five uh, before we forget and then at the top is your recovery time so once you do a workout it will basically show what your recovery time would be like go back okay so it's going completely out went back too far um, yeah it shows your altitude which is very nice and then at the bottom it shows your barometer then it's got the three ticks there again so if we go to the side the altitude at the moment and what it was over the last while and then your barometer a very nice feature as well of the Suntu 9 it has got a storm warning and then how that works is if the pressure drops a certain amount in a certain amount of times so you'll actually get a warning on your watch to say there might be a storm so also very cool so if we go back there and then we tap at the top there that basically shows the temperature at the moment it's not 100 percent accurate but it is it's fairly accurate and then that's just the altitude and stuff again so swipe swipe and we go down sleep um, same as the soon to five it tracks your sleep and then your average heart rate during sleep so nothing crazy there and then fitness level mine says poor and then i haven't been doing two workouts or too many workouts lately just been busy with some other stuff okay so that's all the features down so we swipe back go to the top exercise uh pretty much same as I think all the Suntus. I've only worked with the 5 and the 3. Um, nice thing is the Suntu 9 has got the, the feature for the ultra long battery life. So if you see at the top it says 13 hours, then you can change it to it says 24 hours. Oh, it wants to calibrate views track. We're not going to do that now. And then the other one is 78 hours. So views track is their technology to basically have extremely long battery life where it, uh, it maps slowly um, an area so the GPS will only ping every uh, 5 seconds or 10 seconds I'm not 100% sure instead of every second um, then we've got navigation nothing special there POIs, routes, your location it's got a compass uh, bearing navigation and then obviously your navigation settings quickly scroll through there um, back back 
then the logbook is just a logbook of, book of all your workouts timer just the normal timer uh, settings so it's going to general so time and date language tones backlight power saving mode uh, personal personal is just all your info power saving mode I think when the battery gets really low it goes into a power saving mode I've also also got the haptic uh, buttons activated so power saving mode will deactivate that it deactivates the heart rate sensors all of that alarms normal connectivity out, outdoor you can set your altitude uh, manually or you can auto adjust it but it needs to be um, in direct sunlight to get the GPS uh, navigation calibrate your compass all the normal stuff there uh, activity daily heart rate your steps calories you can also get notifications from your phone you can't reply though uh, so you only get um, if you get a message or a WhatsApp, it will show on your phone. You just can't reply. You also can't obviously get pictures and stuff. Training your weekly goal, your intensity zones, uh, your sleep tracking. Um, you have to say the time more or less that you go to bed and then it will only track from, from that time. Uh, here's your notifications. I've turned it off, it doesn't, um, I don't really like notifications on the phone and then watch faces it doesn't have too many watch faces but there are quite a couple but the one I have basically shows me what I want it's all I need um, but there is quite a I think there's a couple of new ones this I know is a new one for the ultra runners and all those type of things but the one I like um, gives me what I need so basically also on the watch face if you want to change anything you just click on it and it will show you what um, all the information there and as you can see it gets very dirty um, still love the watch though I've had it for a year now um, the screen is that sapphire glass doesn't have one scratch on it which is awesome and I barely take this off as you can also see a little scratch there a little scratch there so it, it has got some wear tiny little scratch there but other than that it's pretty awesome thank you for watching